for today's DIY we will be making these modern wall sconces and all we need are a few Dollar Tree items. If you're watching from Facebook and you'd like to leave me a thumbs up, please click the three dots on the top right corner and then select open in YouTube. And from there you can leave me a thumbs up or you can subscribe or you can leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you guys. For the first one, we're going to spray paint our chopping mat. It's two chopping mats in a pack, so you're getting two mats for one dollar. We're going to spray paint it and I'm going to use my gray spray paint first. I ran out of my chrome spray paint, so I had to improvise. But I will use the chrome spray paint for the last layer. So the foam disc also comes two in a pack. So I'll be spray painting that also along with my thumbtack. So I'm wearing a glove because it wasn't fully dry and when I first touched it my fingerprint came off on it. I should have left it at least 24 hours to dry. And I'm not making it exactly like the one in the photo. I didn't want to do any cutting or anything so I just folded it in the shape that I wanted. So I just place the foam in the center and then I just wrap it around until I see the shape that I want. That's it, I put the thumbtack in and make sure that it goes between the foam. And while you're watching, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. It helps YouTube algorithm to recognize me. And it will help to grow my channel so I can put out even more tutorials weekly. And if you're new here and would like to see my weekly tutorials, please consider subscribing and select the post notifications so you'll be notified the moment I upload a new video. So each one is going to take two lights, one under the bottom and one at the top. And you can glue them in. I think the Dollar Tree sells push light, but these I have the remote for them. So now let's make the second one. We're going to use poster board for this one. And the poster board is 22 by 28 inches. And we'll be making two of them, so we're cutting 8 inch pieces. And then you're gonna find the center which is 14 inches and then on each side on the opposite end we're gonna measure four inches and then we're gonna just go join it with the corner and cut that off So we're using the shiny side. Then I'm going to measure two inches on the center of that line in the middle. And that's where the fold is going to meet. And I'm not doing it exactly like theirs. I want to fold it over some more.
and then for it to be more shiny I give it one layer of Mod Podge before I spray paint it So I was trying a different style with this one. I wanted the center part to be white and the ends gold. But after I used my painter's tape and I was painting over the gold, I could never get the color to come back to white. So I just changed my mind and I went all out with the gold. So the acrylic paint did not work. I think I needed chalk paint. So I just sprayed everything gold and you can see there's two different textures and the line that I put the um, painter's tape, it's still there. So I just used this crystal garland to go around it and I'm going to hot glue it only on the back side of it because I don't think the hot glue can go on the paint. and you're going to need four push lights and all you have to do is just push it down in there and it will stay and I'm just going to use command strips to hold it to the wall so let's move on to our third project I'll be decoupaging this scrape paper to the chopping mat and I'll use Mod Podge mixed with a little bit of water and just use my paintbrush to create a gather design on the chopping mat. And in case you're wondering, this one was more time consuming than the others.
So I'm just gonna use two strips of bling wrap to hide the seams. And I have like a half an inch left where I didn't put any paper. So I'm just going to use five strips of the bling wrap to cover that. And that's going to be the bottom part of the sconce. And for the top, I'm just going to use this lid that I have. It's from an old coconut oil jar. And I just apply a piece of my aluminum wire to it so I can hook it to the wall. And I'm going to spray paint it with the chrome spray paint. I forgot to mention that I used tacky glue on one and Mod Podge on the other. And since the tacky glue is not clear, it gives the light a better hue, like a frosty color. And in order for it to fit inside the lid, I had to cut a strip off of each end. And then I'm going to go around the lid with three rows of the bling wrap.
I then tested it out on the wall, but because of that seam in the back, it was wobbling on the wall. So I decided to put a little piece of this foam board on the back so it could hold it straight. Since I put the foam board, it would have been best to put the aluminum wire hook onto the foam board. And the foam board is not showing, so I don't need to dress it up. And here's the final look of this one. That's without the light. And that's with the light changing colors and you can put anything on this one you can dress it up some more put a little flower pot or anything you like please let me know which one you like the most which one you think you'll give a try please don't forget to subscribe and turn your bell notification on so next week you'll be notified when I upload my next video click on the screen to continue watching more of my videos